hello guys welcome back as you guys saw on the title i am finally doing the what's in my hospital bag video um with my first pregnancy i wasn't really able to do this type of video because i wasn't really into youtube or um it was mostly my husband taking care of it and you know doing videos and posting but then i took over or whatever um but yeah today i am bringing you guys what's in my hospital bag video I'm due really soon, you guys. It's almost time, and I'm so scared, but I'm ready to meet him. Um, but yeah, I'm due very, very soon, and yeah. So if you want to see what I have in my hospital bag, then keep on watching this video. So this is my hospital bag. It feels pretty full, but honestly, um, I feel like there's some stuff that I need to fix, you know. But I got this um, bag from Walmart, actually today um it was only twenty dollars and uh, i like it because it's like leather so you know it's easy to wipe and clean because we're trying to stay safe you see back then i didn't have to worry about none of this but now we do so that's what i'm doing so um, to start with, on the side, I have this bottle where I'll be putting, you know, ice and water because that's all you can drink while you're in labor. Uh, and I want to have my own, you know, and be comfortable, especially because it has a straw. So, I'm bringing this with me. And then, to start off, this is pretty much, you know, like my essentials, what I'll need and stuff like that. But I think I'll actually be taking stuff out of here and just um, putting it on the side. Because this does have a lot of open pockets, this bag. And also in here in the middle. It's pretty spacious to be honest. Yeah, in this bag I pretty much just have my deodorant. I do wear glasses. So I am taking my glasses case and my pair of glasses because I also wear contacts. So that's why I'm taking my contact water. Even though I'm thinking of just putting um putting it in my case already. Um, so when I take them out, you know, they're here and there's water already. Or I don't know. <laughs> I have some socks in here that goes over there, to be honest. And then I'm taking a bar soap. I'm taking our own toothpaste. But I think I'm... I have this little compartment and I think I'm just going to put some in there. So I don't have to take the whole thing. Um, I'm also taking eye drops because... I do wear contacts, like I said, and my eyes do get seem to get dry sometimes. And, you know, I don't know for how long I'll be wearing my contacts or if I'm even going to take them off. I've got this little um, compartment, container, what would you call them? Um, where you can put, like, your travel size. It is for traveling, so. Cause it came with little stickers where you add, like, the lotion, the shampoo. But I just put my favorite um, shampoo in here. Uh, my conditioner and then my favorite lotion and body wash i have our toothbrushes mine and my husband's and then i'm taking some nursing butter because i do plan on breastfeeding i only breastfed my daughter she is 18 months and i only breastfed her i didn't give her no formula she just didn't want it, it i tried to switch her and it was the hardest thing ever so I gave up. I really didn't try it. So with this baby, I plan on not making the same mistake, you guys, because it is hard if you only breastfeed. Like, it holds you back from a lot of stuff. And also, you know, at some point, your milk is not that good anymore. So, um, yeah, I am planning on breastfeed. So I'm taking some of this in case they get dry or whatever. And then this is for after I give birth. It's for my myself. It's the Earth Mama Perinatal. Um, spray so it's supposed to you know like give you some type of comfort down there because if it's hurting burning or you in pain and stuff like that then this will help I also bought um, um, this these are called the tux I also got these um, when my daughter you know I wasn't as prepared and I didn't know much they do give you a lot of stuff at the hospital for you to take care of that down there. But, you know, just in case, I wanted to bring my own stuff. Because with my daughter, 
you guys i was in the hospital for a whole week and one day um because my labor was long and then my epidural had some trouble with it so it was just bad so you know i kind of want to go prepare and you know if i don't end up using it i'll end up using it at home but yeah so i'm taking this whole thing they're basically um cooling pads and you know they're just supposed to give you relief from burning and itching and all of that if i run out of bread i am so sorry but <laughs> it gets hard to talk i run out of bread so quickly so i did get these um postpartum underwears they're from freedom Mom. you know i know the hospital does give you some and i mean they're pretty comfortable but you know just in case but yeah this is basically it i'm gonna take two of them just in case because you never know this one i put alcohol 50 percent alcohol just in case i need to you know disinfect something i'm also taking some chloro clorox wipes just to clean and you know just try to stay safe because there's a lot going on right now you guys i feel like it's not the right time to give birth but you know and then i am taking my charger um the camera the tripod and you know the camera charger and all of that but that'll be in a separate bag i am taking a hair brush with my daughter you guys i end up getting a big chunk like all together not in my hair because i wasn't it was just the epidural okay so for my epidural i end up getting a spinal headache which was the worst i couldn't sit up i couldn't look at the light i couldn't open my eyes i couldn't eat i couldn't carry my daughter it was so bad so you know to brush my hair while having this bad headache yeah um but yes i did end up getting this big chunk of hair just all together and it was so hard to undo it <laughs> so i've been watching a lot of you know what's in my bag videos because even though it is my second time it's been what 18 months um, since i gave birth to my daughter you know i feel like all these things are kind of i don't know i feel like i forgot but also not really but i felt like i don't know my mind just went blank or whatever so i've been watching a lot of what's in my hospital bag videos and there's this one girl she had um, a little fan and just like right now that i'm running out of bread and this feels so good i'm taking this just in case and also you know i don't know maybe my husband while i'm giving birth will hold this <laughs> um but it's pretty cool and it's really really strong you guys and it was like what 12 14 dollars on amazon i'll be sure to link it down below but i love it i think i'll be buying one for my clients when i do get back to doing makeups you know because oh this right here it's my little makeup bag i know uh, some people are like you know it's useless why are you gonna take makeup to the hospital you know but it feels good to get ready at least for me to look good you know after giving birth come on now um it just makes you feel good once you look good i'm in the benefit club pink from benefit so i got a lot of mini stuff but i'm basically taking this little compartment basically just my face my eyebrow brush and yeah i am taking some makeup remover wipes and then, like I was telling you guys, I got a lot of of the mini size stuff from Benefit that I love so much. So I'm taking all of that. I did get a, lot, a mini Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is so good. I love it. I'm taking this, of course, because, you know, your everything gets dry. Your face feels dry, everything. So my lips have to be good. Um, these little mascaras, concealer, and setting spray, and of course, um, my beauty blender. But yeah, I really like this little bag because everything fits. Everything that has makeup related fits right here. So I'll probably add more stuff from the other bag and, you know, just leave it like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my makeup if I end up using it. But I'm pretty sure I will, especially when it's time to go home. So, when it comes to clothes, I'm taking um, this set of pajamas. I love how they're so high-waisted. 
um i got them on amazon but yes i love this set i got it in black because you know we don't want to not light color especially after giving birth you bleeding and all of that and oh my god you guys you probably see this in every hospital what's in my hospital bag video um but i got one of these with my daughter well one of my best friends she actually got it for me after i gave birth to my daughter and this is all i wore after i gave birth to her um i got a navy blue one so this time around i decided to get the black one and it's the best thing ever i still use it now i'm also taking this what you call this um rope um it's just all black and it's kind of long but yeah i'm taking this just in case honestly i hope i really do hope we're not there for so long but i'm I am going kind of prepared like just in case we are because like i said with my daughter a whole week you guys a whole week i was tired i am also taking some nursing bras because i am planning on breastfeeding hopefully i mean i already know you know and my milk supply came in pretty fast with my daughter all of these things i pretty much got them on amazon you guys um but yeah this came in a pack of four i believe but i'm just taking two just in case you know while i'm in the hospital and when it's time to come home so i'm taking two of those i'm also taking two pair of undies you know i don't know if i'm actually gonna wear them because you know the hospital ones are pretty comfortable it's not that bad but you know if i want it more tight together i feel like these are really good and they go pretty high up so i'm taking a pair of these my slides you guys <laughs> so i found these on um the 99 cent store these were three dollars i believe and the reason i got them it's because i probably won't be bringing these home you know i probably just use them at the hospital and just throw them away um so you know i didn't want to take something so expensive um but yeah these were are pretty cute you know so those are the slides that i'll be taking the going home outfit so these are some leggings they're high waisted and they're pretty tight these are you can i can wear them right now as maternity um i've had a pair of these and they're pretty good i'll put down um below where i got them from um but yeah i've been bringing this because you know like i said it's really tight and i do want to come home in leggings because as you guys know we have to taparnos tapate 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 i have this long shirt that it's a nursing um shirt like you know you just put that up and you're able to breastfeed but yeah that's pretty much it on the clothes that i'm taking and the socks that i had um for me it's a lot but i feel like you know after you give birth you have to take care of yourself and as long as i feel comfortable and you know i feel like it's okay to bring all of this <laughs> i'm also taking this blanket right here because as you guys know the hospitals can be really freaking cold but also because you know if anything if i don't use it uh, my husband will so you know i want him to be comfortable as well and have his own cover so my bobby pillow this is for you too when you breastfeed you know it's easier um, but i'm debating in taking it or not because regardless um the nurses do help you and they basically just put pillows and then put the baby on top and you know help you breastfeed um but i'm debating because with everything going on you know, like the less stuff i take that touches anything in the hospital the better so i'll probably not be taking this but if anything you know i'll just leave it in the car now for the baby <laughs> this is his diaper bag somebody gifted it to me um somebody bought it for me from my amazon registry so you know thank you very much 
Um, so I am taking these. Maybe. You see, I'm debating. I feel like I should just try to fit everything in my bag. Because this is actually, you know, Stella. And that, um, my hospital bag is more easier to clean. So, if anything, I'll try to fit his stuff. Because for him, I'm really not taking much. I am taking this, um, letter board that I found at Walmart. It was actually the last one. So, I had to order it online. And, uh, we'll pick up. And yeah, I think um, this will actually be doing at the hospital. My husband did it with my daughter. So I think he's going to be doing it again. <laughs> but yeah, I love it because it's really big, you guys. And it was only like $10. Um, so yes, we're taking this for his pictures. Basically, what I have here is two of his pacifiers. I'm taking this one and this one. Another thing, my daughter, she did not never um got the pacifier she just would make faces she never liked this so with this baby i'm trying to do everything different you know like you learned <laughs> but yeah i'm taking these two pacifiers um i love this blue one because it can go with his outfit i'm also taking a folder for all the paperwork because you do get a lot a lot of paperwork you guys you get so many papers that it's crazy, so I'm taking one just to be safe and I have them, you know, folding them and all of that. So I'm taking this folder with me. For his clothes, I am taking quite some things. Well, I'm taking him two outfits just in case because I still don't know what I want to bring him home in yet. Um, but, you know, I want to have my options open. So I am taking him this little set so cute and it says um welcome to the world and it comes with its own little sweater you know and then of course the little hand <laughs> i'm taking him this one right here and this says welcome home so this one will probably be the one that i'll be putting on him when we get to go home and this is a little giraffe it is so cute and then here is his little beanie and then this one also has, you know, for his little hands. And I love that because this one goes with this one right here. So, you know, it'll be a cute picture, I feel. Uh, swaddles, you guys. <laughs> I'm taking him two swaddles. Um, so, this is the one that I wanted to take his pictures in. And it basically says, hello world. You know, and it, it comes with a little hat. If not, I wanted to do this gray one. Because with the little hat and then the swaddle blanket. You know, I feel like it looks so cute. Like in the picture, this looks so cute when the baby swaddle. Um, I got both of these on Amazon. So, oh, and the last thing that I have in there, it's um, this. Um, car seat canopy just when we get out you know i can cover him i am waiting for another one black one so i don't know if i'll be using this one or the other one and yeah guys that's pretty much all the stuff that i'm taking i don't know if it's too much but i just want to be on the safe side just in case hopefully everything goes good you know but sometimes things don't go as you plan them or as you have in mind that all things will go this easy uh, with my daughter it was really bad so that's why i'm pretty worried uh, i am you guys don't understand how much i'm scared not scared but like i'm just like i feel like i'm not ready once those contractions start hitting or once labor starts i feel like i am not ready <laughs> because it was pretty bad and i'm also scared to get the epidural but i know i'm gonna need it i am scared of the epidural because of what i went through with my daughter because of it i ended up being that one person <laughs> um to get one of the risks from it but you know i know i'm gonna get it regardless like I, my mind's already said that i am gonna get it once i hit four centimeters three or four centimeters i'm getting it <laughs> um but yeah i'm just trying to be safe and taking you know what i think i'll i'll really need probably some of these things i'm not even gonna use but just in case but yeah guys that's pretty much what i have in my hospital bag 
and if, if there's anything else that you guys think i might need um or i probably don't need and i need to take out then just let me know down below but yeah guys i hope you guys like this video and if you're a new mommy to be um congrats i'm sorry that you're gonna give birth on all these going on you know it really does suck but let's just have faith and trust god to be honest um that everything's gonna be okay and yeah you guys i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you on my next one bye bye